you know, if, if we look at what the marketplace is beginning to do um, in terms of making adjustments to buildings, we do have to be careful. And I think part of that is just that as we add insulation, we potentially put that building at risk if we're not putting systems in place as well. So let's just imagine an older building that had poor insulation, it leaked energy and it leaked air. That building probably dried okay. The siding, the cladding, the sheathing maybe worked all right. If it made it 80 years, I'd say it worked okay. Once we start changing the way it behaves, uh, people having a different heating system, they add humidification in the, in the wintertime maybe, they add insulation in the walls which changes the drying, the drying rates. I think it's important that when we make changes to buildings that we also don't forget the importance of making sure the science of buildings and the physics of how those things come together is really discussed in making that happen. So I'm an enormous big fan of saying what they call deep energy retrofits. We're seeing a lot of that. That's the term being used. How do I take a building that was built 50 years ago and make it a very high performance building? It's stripping off the cladding, adding insulation to the walls and to the exterior, putting in triple glazed windows, adding insulation in the attics, improving the appliances. A deep energy retrofit is really lowering the overall energy picture. That is beginning to happen, but boy, it has to be done as a system. It has to be done as a really intentional goal at making sure all the systems work together. But what a win. Imagine buying a house that's 50 years old and you move into it and you cut the energy bills by 80%. You improve the indoor environment and the health of the buildings. What a great uh, legacy to leave to the next buyer that would pick that up or the 20 or 15 or 10 years you raise your family there. I think all of those things are the right thing to do. If you're going to go in and work on a building, that's why I always kind of hate the the, uh, the buy them and fix them and dump them right out in the market, that kind of a flips is what they would, were calling them. People would go in and switch out some appliances, put some new siding on and sell the house uh, and make a bunch of money on it. But what they really did is a bit of a disservice because they never fixed the building and all of its challenges. So I think if we're really going to look at the importance of the remodeling industry as a professional industry that it is, let's go and make changes and changes that are well done and do it with the right science. And I think that'll change the dynamics of houses in this country.